Hi, this is Oscar Lopez and welcome to my loading and parsing an Excel file using ClientScript and ServiceNow. So typically in order to load data into ServiceNow you have to use import sets which is only available to administrators. Hence no end users can load data by themselves they depend on the administrator to create a data source, a transfer map, and run the import to load the data. As an alternative, you may have seen that a developer could create a catalog item to achieve the same by allowing end users to submit a request to load the data by attaching the Excel file and then running workflows and using backend API to automatically create data source and transfer map in order to run the load. At the end, you will end up creating hundreds or thousands of data sources that you will just use once. So here, what this demo is about is to present you a way to load data using ClientScript API that can read a Microsoft Excel file and other spreadsheet formats on the fly by ex extracting the data you need in order to load it or manage the data in the required way. This particular widget I've created for change request. So what I'm going to do is to open a change and then go to the related list at the bottom and you will see the impacted services CIs. So out of the box service now offers this widget so that you can filter the CMDB, right? So we're seeing the entire CMDB and the configuration items. And you using the filter, you can just look for those CIs that you need, right? So this is out of the box. And then you can select which, which ones you need and then add the selected or add all the CIs that are uh, queried here. So unfortunately, this feature does not allow for reading through, through a file. So um, there are cases where customers, they manage a file where, where for example, they want to perhaps uh, update multiple types of CI servers or devices at the same time, and there are there's a list of hundreds or thousands even that they manage uh, on a spreadsheet because they handle that uh, recollection of data by hand, and and they start moving around from one team to another team, and and so they just maintain it over a spreadsheet. So what this solution offers is to have this widget where you can select an Excel file or a spreadsheet in the different format um, and then just use the data that is within this spreadsheet in order to validate, load the data, or manage somehow this data in order to achieve the goal that you want. So um, this widget, um, it has two steps. One is to enter the column label. So let me show you real quick the spreadsheet. So here I have just uh, these three columns, just a column on name and serial number are populated. So this is just a dump from the CNDV in this is instance. So um, here I have the name of the CI right? And I have the serial number for each of the CIs. So the best way to go in order to load the data or work with this data, it, it would have to be by using some unique identifier. And for this example, the serial number would be the most unique um, example of a piece of information uh, within the, the CI rather than the name because sometimes you may end up having um, duplicate names on certain CIs uh, and I have seen it but uh, serial number uh, quite often is unique. So here what I'm going to do is to load this 
CIs in the impacted services CIs related list within the change form, right? So what I'm going to do is first enter the column label. Here the column label is exactly the field I want uh, as a unique identifier. And I will type serial number. Then I will choose the file, my CNDBC at data list. I open the file and the, the, the moment I just click on open button, it will start reading the file, parsing the file and doing everything it takes in order to load the data. So as you can see, the page has refresh, but the, the whole page has not been reloaded. Okay. So what it was refreshed, it was the related list. As you can see now, there are four CIs that were attached to this given change. So the total number of rows processed were six. It means there were six CIs in, in the spreadsheet, but only four made it. Why? Because two records could not be found. Based on what? Based on the serial number, which is the column label that I selected. And on the right hand side, I have that particular list of those values that were not found. And in this case is returning exactly the serial numbers that were not been able to match in the CNDB. So what we're doing here is just reading the Excel file, reading the content, the columns and rows, and reading the data. And then we're just validating against the CMDB by doing a lookup on the CNDB by using the serial number. If we find that, then we add it in the impacted services related list. Otherwise, we just start creating this values not found list. Now, imagine that this could be hundreds or thousands of records within the spreadsheet. This is a very good way to load this piece of information in the change on the fly using just client script. And of course, I'll show you in a minute how it works on the back end. But the best thing about this as well is that perhaps not all those CIs that you have on the Excel sheet, perhaps not all that has been discovered yet or you don't have it yet on the CMDB. So that's why these values not found. It's a good way to understand what data was loaded and which pieces of information could not be loaded. And that's why you have this copy button. So if you have hundreds of thousands of values not found, then you can just copy this to the clipboard and do whatever you need to do. And this is pretty much it from this widget, which is nothing but a UA page. And then I can close. And well, now you see that this change has these four impacted services CIs. So how actually works uh, all this widget? Uh, first and foremost, um, in the GitHub, there's a project called Sheets. JS. Here, this is uh, the homepage for this uh, site. And here you would find two uh, pieces of um, APIs that are needed in order to make this work. One is the jszip.js, and the other one is the xlsxjs. So these two files are needed in order to parse the Excel file on the client side within ServiceNow. So for this, you would have to create a UA script with the name JSZIP, and then just grab and load all the code for this given library, and do the same for the XLSX um, library as well. So it has thousands of rows and you would not have any problem in saving this record 
just um, just one thing every time that you need to refresh or change even a typo or make a comment or change a single letter or single character within the content of this API script my recommendation is that you grab all of it and delete it and then just paid all over again the entire uh, API script. So do not attempt to modify it by just changing words or changing characters and then trying to save because then it takes uh, a quite amount of time to save and reload. And it's better if you just grab the entire script, delete it, and then paste it again entirely. That would be the best way to do it. So um, then how it happens, as you can see, I have a load CIs button available in this related list for impacted services CIs. So this is the UI action. It's nothing, uh, you know, big, but it's just calling an Excel data loader UI page and then I'm passing some parameters to the UI page. So first and foremost, the CMDB CI is where we, um, we need to make the lookup. The serial number is by default. Then the task CMDB CI service. This is actually the related list in the change. So if you can see here, um, if I just hover here, you will see in the status bar at the bottom of the browser task underscore cndb underscore ci underscore service that's exactly the table we need to populate with the record found in the ci and then within that table we have um, two uh, fields one is the cm cmdb ci service and then we have the task the ci service is nothing but the ci itself and the task in this case would be the change record. So uh, this button is going to call the Excel data loader, which is um, this UI page. So uh, we have all the HTML. We're getting all those uh, properties that I just pass on the UI action. So I'm catching up all those values from the dialog preferences. And then I have just the, you know, the HTML to build that uh, widget, that form uh, with the two fields, one with the uh, column name from the Excel that is uh, the unique value, in this case for the serial number, and then um, the other one, which is to select the file. And of course, the as soon as, as you select the file, um, an event is triggered to parse the file, read the content, and then execute the client script in this UI page. So basically here, the most important function here is to parse the Excel file. So it does a bunch of checkups and disables some of the buttons and then gets the file and then reads the file this is happening on the client side and then at the end by using this api um, the sheet J js what we're doing is to stringify it and get um, json format for the entire rows and columns of the excel file and so by having that json it's going to be much more easier to get the data by column name and the value. Then everything else is happening in the back end, right? So we have a related list that we need to populate if we find that given CI. So by using the Ajax Excel loader, we're just passing all these parameters. We're passing the data, which is in JSON uh, format. And then as soon as we return, uh, we get all the results. And that's how we build the status on that widget to understand how many 
records were created or loaded and which CIs could not be identified by using the serial number in this case. So by using this AJAX Excel loader, which is a script include, um, we're reading all that parameters that we're passing along. And basically we're just iterating for each of the rows of the spreadsheet. Um, we're getting uh, each um, serial number that we're looking for on the CNDV. This is what the find record is doing, is uh, querying uh, the CMDV by searching on that given field name. In this case, is the serial number. So if, if it happens that we found that particular CI in the CNDB, then we push it in a list of uh, found uh, CIs, and then we create the record in the table in the related list, uh, passing all the values, right? So we need uh, to pass the change number, we need to pass the CI information, right? Um, in order to obtain this record right here in the impacted services CI related list. If we're not able to find on the CNDB that particular CI by using the serial number, then we are just adding that to the not found list. At the end, what is being returned, we're just returning an status message and what happened, right? What, how many CIs got loaded, how many CIs could not be found. And that's how um, the widget gets populated with that information and we get to know what happened. So this is a very simple way uh, to load data into ServiceNow using client script. So I hope you liked it. Um, uh, if you find it uh, useful, please um, share it and um, leave your comments on the community. So I'm going to have the link to the community and the update set right below this video in the comments. And please leave your comments. What do you think about this uh, particular widget that allows you to parse and load an Excel file on the client side in ServiceNow? So thanks for watching 